take you to the wonder of Internet of Things from healthcare perspective. It's one of the most innovative, wonderful things you are going to see in the future. First of all, I know that you are aware about IoT, Internet of Things, but let me just give you a brief. Everything, everything around you is going to start communicating with you. Your refrigerator in your home, your AC, your bathrooms, your, you know, the moment you enter in the house, air conditioner will switch on. There was a question that why they put the screen on the fridge, refrigerator, right? It's a future. There is a technology developed. There will be iPad or a screen on your refrigerator and there will be sections for the vegetables, section for the food, section for the meat, section for your dairy products and all. So the moment you take the vegetables, it will tell you that your daily family consumption, how much meat you are eating or maybe you're not eating enough fiber. So that screen will show you those things. And also this screen will also send you alert on your wearable device as well as to your dietitian. How amazing it is. If your dietitian has access to your daily routine activity and if your dietitian can print a chart, it's going to change. It's going to change the healthcare delivery system because Internet of Things is just not for switching on the light. Internet of Things is going to transform healthcare delivery completely. Imagine an asthmatic patient. The patient has asthma. Now you go to doctor and doctor prescribe you medicine, but he does not have much details than your family history. What else he has, maybe your medical reaction. But with IoT, doctor can see where you are living, which community you are living, is there industrial area around it? What is the pollution status of that? What is the family history? With these technological advances, he can also track what is the, your humidity level at your home. What is the situation? What is your air conditioner setting from last one month and six months and one year? This internet of things is going to change entire way of healthcare delivery by giving massive, massive data access to the healthcare physicians. And how these healthcare physicians are going to read this data? I'm going to talk in my next presentation, but here is what IBM did. IBM did a study about internet of things. They said the first and foremost, most important thing is that, that it will reduce the healthcare cost. Currently, no matter which part of the world you're living, healthcare cost is a major concern for any government, any country, any place. However, it's not only that there is a little healthcare cost involvement, what is most worst at this moment globally, the healthcare is reactive. What is reactive healthcare? It is that if you have cancer, you will be treated. If you have malaria, you will be treated. If you have diabetes, you will be treated. However, we should invest more in the preventive healthcare. Because if we keep on spending on the reactive healthcare, we will never be able to break even where the healthcare costs are reduced. The healthcare costs are going to grow. With the IoT, the healthcare cost will reduce because the data will be available immediately to the government, to the local people, to the physicians. There will be beautifully outcome of every treatment because your doctor will have a real-time information and access to everything. Let me give you an example. My, my mother is diabetic and my father too. So I'm imagining very soon a refrigerator is going to come so in the morning when you go to refrigerator, it will ask you to just punch in your thumb there and it will give you your blood sugar level and based on it, it will suggest you what kind of food you should eat today. How amazing it is going to be. It will reduce your healthcare cost, it will reduce your uh, management cost also and you can monitor your healthcare condition. It will improve the disease management, it will reduce the medical error. We all know, we all know that medical error is one of the big cause of the death, even more than the aviation death. You, you might hear in the newspaper that there, there is an airplane ac accident happening, but if you see the number of people dying from the medical error are far bigger than any kind of uh, road traffic accidents also. And it will eventually enhance the patient delivery also, because with the IoT internet thing, the information is available everywhere 
and you can easily cross check on your television on even your refrigerator and your air condition your air conditioner will start communicating with you and it will say you that this is the level of humidity this is your asthma level how you want me to adjust it this is the future my friends and it's a 4 million patient which are going to start using IoT by 2020. So we are not very far. At this moment, they're not much use, but IBM predict by 2020, there are more and more people are going to use it. IBM Watson can read 40 million documents in less than 15 seconds. What does this mean? Let me explain you a, a scenario, a situation. Currently, a doctor who has spent maybe 10 minutes reading, five minutes or 10 minutes reading your history, all he can read is your family history, your age, your biometrics, your vital signs, little bit about medical reaction and all. But technology can read the, your city level, your pollution level. Technology can read your father's history, your mother's family history. Technology can read the various medical conditions and various biometrics, single element and can Watson, this IBM Watson can present 40 million documents reading, which you don't need to carry to doctor even in less than 15 seconds and provide various treatments and various therapy options to the doctor. How amazing it's going to be when doctors will have access to something like that. Because at this moment, if the doctor reads more document, it is also becoming costly for the patient because doctor will be able to see less number of patient and healthcare cost is increasing. But artificial intelligence, and latest knowledge equipments are going to help the delivery of healthcare system. Telemedicine, one of the most beautiful advanced tool in current time. In a global healthcare, use of telemedicine is very important because probably you're thinking in medical tourism, the telemedicine is only for the consultation when doctors and you know patients would like to just have a few words and all, but it plays significant role in pre-operative care and post-operative care. Most of the medical tourism facilitators or medical tourism doctors forget about most important component of medical tourism, which is pre-operative care and post-operative care. You don't want patient to fly from Middle East or Africa to Croatia and you, before surgery, you realize that his blood sugar level is high and you did not ask for any pre-operative condition, you did not ask for some of the basic medical conditions. And you don't want also patient to go back from Croatia to Africa and without care available to him. And doctors are not able to provide the care to that patient. Doctors are not able to understand the medical conditions or maybe the medicines only not available post-operative. Telemedicines play a very important role educating not only doctor, but the physicians. <coughs> I was in Jordan a few days back, beautiful conference, and I met with a guy from Singapore. He has a business of telemedicines only for the physicians. They sell telemedicine to physicians where physicians can pay a subscription fees, annual small subscription fees, and they have access to take an opinion from German physicians, one of the high quality educational physicians and professor. So this is not only for the patient, it's also for the physicians, telemedicines, one of the important role in the medicines.